Today I'm gonna talk about gloves. Gloves. We all use them and we all have our favorites. I've had a lot of gloves uh, throughout my uh, time on the bike and uh, I've had all from big chunky racing gloves when I was using a racing suit and uh, I also had a uh, racing uh, Gore-Tex gloves. Good glove but the inner lining comes loose so it's a real hassle to get on and off when um, wet on your hands. Rubbish. And I'm, they, they're too bulky with the jacket and everything and my watch on my wrist it's kind of like I feel restrained. I cannot um, I do not like gloves with big uh, chunky bits here. It may be good for protection, I don't know. I haven't been down on my bike and have really good use of my gloves yet. Winter gloves, Rukka, really good one. Really enjoy this. It's, um, it's, it's kind of big and bulky, but still it has a great grip so it don't feel bulky towards the handlebar. So, um, I can use this in every weather and uh, this one as well I can operate my telephone with. My favorites for a long time have always been the BMW GS Pro. Fit me really good. They are uh, tight, they are um, a little bulky over here but still they're just really good on the, on the hand and I really got a good feel with the brake and the clutch lever. It just it's a really good glove. They kind of look silly, so uh, after I sold my BMW, I found myself in need of a new glove. They were getting a small holes here and there. So I bought the Klim Inversion Pro glo uh, glove. Another really good glove, fits great. This buckle is a little bit loose, but uh, anyway, it's a windstopper. I really like this glove as well, but there's just one problem with it. One of the fingers is just a little bit tight and you can't operate your phone while using the glove. You have to take off and on and off your glove every time you need to use your phone. These gloves don't register for shit. So no matter how much I press, they won't work. I can count how many times I just got ready to uh, put on all my gear, ready to, put this, uh, ready to go on my bike. And I use my phone for tracking and a lot of other things. I've got to put on the tracking, so uh, I have to take off my gloves again, operate my telephone, on with my glove, and off we go. And I, uh, I photograph and film a lot when I'm out on my trips, so uh, it's a little bit loose in the fingertips. So it's kind of uh, it's hard to feel the um, shutter button. So, but. Except from that, a really good glove. So yesterday I was down to ride back again and I saw this pair of gloves. Pro glove. It's almost the same. Um, it's pretty much the, uh, the same glove as the GS Pro, but it's uh, much more subtle, less bulky on the um, knuckles, small ventilation uh, holes between the fingers, and it's just. It feels like dog shit in wet snow. It just. I drive a lot on, uh, on road and off road uh, combined, so uh, I think this is the perfect uh, 
compromise between the two worlds. It's not too bulky and it's not too thin. It's just, um, and it feels really good. It's snug and I can really, really um, free my fingers and uh, my, my wrists are really loose. So it's really easy to have good clutch and uh, brake control with thin gloves like this. Compass of all. We have touch. Don't use heated grips and Gore-Tex gloves. Cold water, Gore-Tex glove, no leakage. But if I was to change this water with hot water, that's higher temperature than my hand inside, the Gore-Tex will turn and it will make the water leak through and get into your arms. So that's why you don't ride with heated grips and Gore-Tex glove.